Today I thought we would together load some new sounds into the Nord Electro 4 that we have here. I've done a factory initialization which has loaded all the default piano library sounds into this but there are some others that I think are better so in today's video we are going to transfer the other samples over to the Electro. We'll also need to plug in a USB cable. You connect this to your PC, your Mac the PC with a USB cable which we're going to put in the back like so there it is USB so these are the signs we have loaded right now into the electro there's the bright gap bright ground Yamaha studio ground grand lady D these are not the best piano signs in my opinion there's one more electric ground there CP80 so what I think we're going to do is delete those and load in the Bossendorfer sample, which I, I prefer. I've tried that on my Nord piano. For the uprights, we have the black upright, the blue Swede. I'm going to get rid of those and load the mellow piano. Let's have a quick listen before we do that. Um, so the number one, ground. Number two, ground. Whoops, I transposed. Number three, ground. Four ground, electric ground there. Let's take a listen to the uprights. We have number two, number three. Yeah, that's quite cool. That's the detuned honky tonk. I quite like that actually. We might keep that. You can see the size. It's a 30 megabyte sample, 33, 30, 39. The medium sized ones are more or less 60, 70 large in total. Okay, so I'm going to delete those three grand pianos. Yes, I'm going to delete these uprights as well. We'll get rid of all of them. Okay, and now when it's doing its thing down here on the bottom, if I just zoom out, you can see we have 83 megabytes used, 297 megabytes free at our disposal. So let's load in some new piano sounds then. So this is the Nord Sound Manager, which is a free download from Nord's website. Likewise, all of the piano samples. So let's take a look. I've stored those somewhere here. We have the grand piano sounds. I'm going to go for the medium size. If we take a look here, you can see that the medium sized libraries are around between 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 megabytes. The large ones are sort of around 70 to 100. So let's drag and drop the ones we want. I'm going to take the medium Grand Imperial Bussendorfer. That's the 75 megs. Let's drag that one over. Okay, it's popped up there. And I want the upright medium, mellow, upright. Also a Bosendorfer. This is a sample of a piano that's got extra thick hammers, I think, to get a really soft, mellow sound. We've got 143 megabytes free. Let's drag some more electric pianos over as well. There's a Wurlitzer Amped that I want to experiment with. We have a Nefertiti 1970 Mark 1 Rhodes, I want to try that one out as well. We've still got 90 megs available to us. It's pretty nice. This is the compromise you have to make with the Nord Electra. You can't have all of the sounds loaded at any time, unfortunately. 380 megabytes is quite a small size there, really, that you have available to you. So now we are syncing over these to the Electra. If we take a look at the progress bar, you can see it's going to take about 36 minutes. This is another problem every time you want to swap out the samples. Be prepared for a long wait, about 35 minutes. Okay, so we have about 10 minutes remaining now. Whilst this has been transferring to the Electro, I've been doing a bit of research on the correct naming, what these things should be called. We have the Nord Piano Library. This is what we're focusing on today, which consists of the Grand Piano Libraries, Upright Pianos, Electric Pianos, Electric grands, synth pianos, clavs, 
harpsichords and things that are not interesting to me. If we click on the grand pianos, for example, here you can see all of the ones that are available to you. And you can see you can download them in different sizes. Upright pianos, the one we're going to install is the Mellow Upright. Listen to that. Hope you get a feeling for how nice and mellow that sounds. If I just shut up for a second. It's my, my favorite sound so far in the entire piano library. Electric pianos, a whole bunch of them here as well. We were going to transfer over that one today, the latest one, the Nefertiti. Funky old workhouse that has spent most of its days in the darkest corners of the legendary Nefertiti Jazz Club in Gothenburg. Okay, that does sound great, doesn't it? And also, we have the Nord Sample Library. That was the Piano Library. Then we have the Sample Library, which is also supported on the Nord Electro 4. And here you can download various samples that aren't really in fitting with the with the concept of the Electro, which is electromechanical keyboards, of course. But you have uh, 100 megabytes or something available to you, so I've downloaded a few of these as well. I went to Sound Collections, Mellotron, and I downloaded a few of the voice sounds. You can see them transferring over now. Okay, so why don't we audition the sounds that we've just dragged over to the Electro and just check that everything is loaded. I must admit, even though it's a bit disappointing that we can't have all the samples loaded at one time, it's quite good fun to pick and choose the samples from Nord's website and then use the sound manager to transfer them over. And then it feels like you've got a completely new instrument. I suppose if everything was loaded all the time, you wouldn't get that excitement. But now it feels like I've got a, a bunch of fresh new samples. So let's rediscover this keyboard together. So in the grand category, let's put a little bit of reverb on. We'll put a little bit of hall reverb. Lots of hall reverb. And we'll just check what we have loaded. So in the piano, grand piano section, we should just have one, which is the, the Bosendorfer. We've got one, two, and four. What's going on there? Okay, so number one is our Bosendorfer, then we have a number two. Stereo CP80, electric grand, and then we have a mono electric grand. I don't know what happened to slot three. Interesting. Okay, let's jump to the upright category. There we should only have one, which we do, and this is hopefully our mellow grand, or mellow upright. The electric pianos, then we've got a whole bunch of these. I'm going to go very quickly through these. We'll do a separate video on these, I think. to play with, with a lot of nice character and personality. In the electric piano two section, I think we've just got a couple of Wurlitzers. Let's have a look. Electric piano two, there should be a Wurlitzer. Another one. It's nice, that's amped. Oh, oh yes. And I deleted the harpsichord that was loaded from the factory settings and replaced it with this rather nice DX7. Oh, 
that's really cool. Clavinet, of course. So you do need to be patient, but we did succeed in transferring these all over to the instrument. You can see here, this is the one, two, four location. I don't know why that one would be four. Can we edit it? No, I don't know, we'll live with that anyway. And then here come the electric pianos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's change the order so that's seven. Why can I not change the order? Organize, okay. Let's put seven before eight. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here come the Wurlitzers one, Wurlitzers two, DX7, Clavinet. There you go. One other thing I'm going to show you whilst we're here is that if you do need to reset your Nord to the factory settings, then you do it simply by clicking the restore button here after connecting it via USB. And then you load in one of these NE4B files that you download from Clavier's site. And this contains all of the samples, all of the piano libraries, plus all of the presets. You can just load that one in, but I don't want to do that now. I did that before, but now we've customized this to make it exactly the way that I want it. The process that we did here, there we go. The process that we did here is exactly the same as for the Nord Piano and all of the Nord Stage models and the latest Nord Electros as well. So that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. See you again soon. Cheerio.